Tonight, we meet at an urgent time for our country. It's a balanced plan that would reduce the deficit by making additional spending cuts and by reforming our tax code in a way that asks the wealthiest Americans and biggest corporations to pay their fair share. Many CEOs in the U.S. earned more in salary and compensation than their companies paid in federal income taxes. The Institute for Policy Studies examined 100 corporations that are publicly traded and have the highest paid CEOs. McNerney got $13.8 million. Boeing sent in $13 million in federal income taxes. The report comes from the Institute for Policy Studies, a Washington, D.C. think tank, and it shows that Boeing isn't alone. In Verizon's case, according to the study, the company made $11 billion in profit. The CEO got $18 million in pay and benefits, but Verizon itself got a tax refund, this according to the study. It's wild. Can that be right? They claim it is. Wow. It's a nonpartisan institute for policy studies. The 25 CEOs averaged $16.7 million. But we didn't realize that those CEOs also got what I would call sort of the tax dodging premium, meaning they, they were paying on average about $16 million, whereas average CEOs, the 500 biggest companies in America, were paid about $10 million. So they got like a 50% higher average pay uh, in part because they're overseeing a company that's aggressively avoiding taxes. Scott Klinger, one of the report's authors, says putting off tax payments until future years is one way companies have been able to reduce their tax burden. We think of deferred taxes as, as uh, saying to the IRS, the check is in the mail. It may be delivered next year, it may be delivered 25 years from now. That's not something that U.S. Uh, families get to do. That's right. Our tax code is so easy on massive multinational corporations, they pay their top executives more than they pay in federal taxes each year. It's a startling fact. It's a report released by the Institute for Policy Studies. Representative Elijah Cummings, who is the minority ranking um, person on the House Oversight Committee, called for new hearings to look into this issue of executive pay and whether a sufficient changes have really been made in government policies that affect that. Whatever you think of tax policy, this to me is just a further emblem of what Dylan always calls misaligned interests. The fates of the people at the top of our society is not linked at all to the fate of American workers. What are we going to do about that?